quantum computing resilience of Cardano. When we ask for the renewal, uh, we will include an entire quantum agenda so that Cardano will be completely end-to-end -end, uh, quantum resistant. It was a research item that we did in the initial scope, uh, but uh, we didn't uh, actually implement those protocols. A, because it wasn't in the original agreement and uh, it was just a research item. So we kind of understood what is a quantum adversary and post-quantum signatures and these things. And we wrote some papers and we actually explored signature schemes like XMSS, Sphinx, and uh, also lattice space crypto like crystals, for example. Uh, but uh, the problem is quantum resistance requires more than that. For example, the Ouroboros, we would require post-quantum VRF, and we'd actually have to rebuild our snark structures, like Sonics, for example, because they're not quantum resistant. If we were ever to use them for private assets or other things in Cardano, uh, we'd have to redo that. So there's about two to three years of solid work on theory, prototyping, and application to make Cardano quantum resistant. Perfect thing for the next five years. Uh, but not something for the last five years. Just understanding how to do that and what needs to be done is what we accomplished. And I think that was a great mission. The good news is there is absolutely no demand for quantum resistance at the moment because there aren't any quantum computers that can actually do anything to us. That said, by 2030, I feel that this will become an emerging threat to legacy systems. The problem is right now with quantum systems, uh, all of the post-quantum crypto, it is simply too slow. You're talking about signatures that are 10, 20, 30 times larger than the uh, EDS, uh, ESA signatures that we use, the Twisted Edward Crypt stuff, uh, and a uh, lot longer validation time and a litany of other little issues here and there. And also, we don't have a post-quantum VRF, so you have to do random number generation differently. So uh, no way to do it, and the tra even if it could be done at the moment, uh, the trade-offs are simply too high. So part of an agenda would be gradually mitigating those trade-offs in creative ways. But this does require new crypto. And the good news is huge amount of people are thinking about this. The bad news is it's not blockchain friendly at the moment. So it needs to be translated.